Hey everybody, welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII Let's Play. We've got a bit of a continuity goof here. On the, blue the, the cart is now facing the other way as we're going towards the gold saucer. Huh. The other way? Yeah. Uh, if you look at the way the cart departs in, uh, it, the, in the, the, the dock. The propellers were going The propellers are going north. Now they're suddenly south. Wait, is this the gold saucer from Final Fantasy XIV? No, this is the gold saucer from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> <laughs> that becomes a gold saucer in Final Fantasy XIV. Yes, it does. And like if you don't know what mushrooms. the gold saucer is, it's Disneyland! Disney in, World! In space! Enough about that shit about burning down villages. How about we go to Disney World? Let's go to Disney World, motherfuckers. This is the gold saucer. I've always liked the theme for this for this place. Uh, because it's burned into your mind if you're going for Chocobo racing and shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, that and the um, uh, Final Fantasy VII rendition of the Chocobo theme. Because I really like that version. Well, uh, which one? There's two of them. There's the, When you're racing. When you're racing, okay. Look at that fat-ass Chocobo! It's a guy in a suit. God damn! <laughs> damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! Anyway. Elliot there's a really guy. likes fat Chocobo. <laughs> Is the name of your there's hard drive? There's a guy behind the um. There's a guy up there in the upper right corner. Every now and again, he shows off. He'll ch he'll charge you money for GP or something. Yeah, because in the gold saucer, you need to use gold saucer currency, GP in other words. And gold, gold uh, points. <laughs> well, fuck. When you're going inside it for the first time, you you have to pay for a pass. So you get the one-time pass, which costs three thousand gil, or you get the lifetime pass, which costs thirty thousand gil. But you don't have to buy a pass afterwards. Sounds like Disney. Likely, World. you won't have the gil at this point to buy a lifetime pass, but you can buy the three thousand gil one. If not, then you're gonna have to get back on that fucking trolley and go back and grind a bit to get some money. But you've been selling ethers and shit. That shouldn't be a problem, right? So Aerith tries to lighten the mood, and Barrett is not really a cheery guy right now. Yeah, no, because he was like, you know, we just went through his old hometown. He feels really responsible for the state of its end. People hate him there. It's like, nah, but, you know, okay, I know that you're feeling pretty bad, but amusement park, come on, we got to have a good time. Dude, we're in Disney World. We can finally yeah, meet fucking Mickey, dude. You yeah, gotta, and, not yeah. for noth and not for nothing. Oops is being really inconsiderate here. Yeah, uh, she's trying to lighten the mood, but she's also not considering Barrett's feelings. No shit. I like how she called. Oh, uh, he's like messing around with some bitch. <laughs> he's going to the Wonder Square. He's going to play the fucking rock paper scissors. <laughs> yeah, he would do that too because Gun beats all of them. <laughs> exactly. I actually like how you have to go through tubes to go to your next destination. Rock paper. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> rock paper scissors. Shoot. What? I'm gonna go with Tifa. Oh, I'll go with Tifa now because I I, I made a mistake. Oh well, fuck you too, Clap. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, now I don't think it. Yuffie, you stay. What? Damn. So I ring the choker with. Oh. So there's soldiers here. Huh. Why? Are they looking for me? Hopefully not. Thank God they didn't go through the station tube. All right, folks, get cozy because the next part and a half is me just fucking around with the gold saucer. Hey, I, fucking, hey, I got lost in them all. Damn right. That's what I was like. God, I was here, Dude, for, I was that, here for a good hour. Is that Bulma from Dragon Ball? No, no. no. Just a girl in a bunny outfit. No, it's not even a bunny outfit. It's just a swimsuit, I guess, with heels. They all look the same, too. That's racist. Her and her clones. Yeah, but well, Elliot, it's, not, it can't, it's hard to call them racist if they're clones. It's only racist if I think I'm superior to the clone. I never said anything about being superior to the clone. Huh. Okay, stereotypical. Uh, no, that's not the right way of using it. Either. I try to okay. avoid the ones that look like they're dashing right out the gate because they're guaranteed to fucking shit the, the battle. The problem is, that how the hell do you tell? They're running, they're running speed they're, when they're running like dashing, like head down. Like yeah, I know that, but how do you tell from these stats right here? You don't. You just get top speed and stamina. Uh, top speed is how fast they can go when they're dashing, and stamina is how well they can last on the road before they get tired out. The problem is, the, the thing is that, the, f as far as I'm aware, when you're betting on chocobo races, it's just RNG. Yeah, it's utter luck. It's, it's utter luck, like r actual horse racing. So Except it's that like, suck in horse racing? Yeah, well, I mean, I never tried, but at the same time, can you be good at horse racing? I don't no. think you can. It's not just, really. It's, it's unless hard. unless yeah. you're in the pocket of the mafia, you're yeah, not going to win. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's all luck-based. So... so is this essentially like the like banging on the horse races in San Andreas? You're just well, it's just going standard, it's it. just standard horse racing. Okay, you know, they brought this back in thirteen two actually. Yeah. In my recollection, you bet on the you bet on the odds. You think what are the better odds of what you got to get an item, and then you, you hope for the best. Really, yeah. Uh, you said thirteen two brings us back. Somewhat, yeah. Somewhat. Uh, fourteen also has chocobo racing. Thirteen two uh, had one of them called Osmo Splinter. 
Ozma Or just Ozma. Ozma Okay, that's, that's, is it just a glowing ball? That just that would be funny as shit. No, yeah, it's I, just... I, it, I it's like called... It, it would be funny as all to see that. I still <laughs> imagine somebody trying to ride okay. the Ozma Mountain 14 this, like a circus ball. This is probably a memory failing me, but I'm pretty... I thought, like, um, Cloud would actually just race in one of them, too. You, you have can. to have his own. You okay, can. okay. Yeah, you can... You, we're we're going to get to the story point, the, the story part of that later. Story porn? The, the, uh, yeah, no, come on, <laughs> my words are just kind of slurring all over the place right now. That's fine. Uh, but, yeah, uh, you can ride Choco Boat yourself. Uh, one, one's mandatory. To yeah, <laughs> One's mandatory for story reasons, and the other is if you want the best materia in the game. And uh, that can take a bit if you don't know what you're doing. So wait, which one did you bet on? I don't remember. Oh, uh, number three, actually. Welp. Of course. Yeah, the one that's like in... No, nah, don't worry about it because he might he might speed forward near the end. Yeah, because the chocobo, while some of them can sporadically dash whenever they want, most of them will dash here on the final stretch. And if you like the cosmic tunnel, that's what I call it. Yeah, it slows down their. Sw it's, yeah, but once you get a chocobo above a higher stat, they, they don't give a shit about the, no, the uh, tunnel. The ones that ignore terrain, which is actually is a really cool. Oh, that's really speed up in this version. Holy fuck, that chocobo's on crack. And this is the only time we hear the original fan. Hopped up, hopped up on the carob yeah. nuts. Hopped up on the carob nuts. Just, just cheeks full of nuts. Oh no, you I lost. Ain't get shit. Well, you want to? Well, honestly, you, you gambled for a prize. I was like, what? Two hundred gil? Yeah, because you got tranquilizer. Big whoop! I got rid of those already. High potion. Got those either. Ice crystals. I think it's the only one item of interest, and that's like what item ice two. Yeah. So. Yeah, whatever. And I'm about to f um, level up my ice material anyway, so... No yeah. harm, no foul? Exactly. You don't really get any interesting items until you there's start... There's also A-rank tickets uh, for later on. Betting on B and A-rank. I think there's also S-rank, too. Yes. Where it stops at... No, yeah. It, oh, it goes betting, up to, it goes I'm up not to sure. S. Yeah, on betting, I think it goes up to S, just like regular racing. Now, the thing is, though, is that there is one thing you'll want to do about that, is that there are some races where you can only get certain exclusive accessories, like the Cat's Belt, which is, I think, is a auto-regen. And yeah, it'd probably be like the Tintin Bar from Six. Yeah. Hey, boy! Look at the man tits on this dude. This is Dio. <laughs> uh, I think he's the owner of the gold sauce. That he is. And he's never heard of pants. No, he's not. Or a shirt. Or a shirt. He's Zangief. I don't think he can fit a shirt. No. He, he's Zangief. Because look at it. His trunks are, are red. Hold on. You were fucking orgasming about the chonky big chocobo, and you got nothing for Dio? Really? The dude oozes chonk. Seriously? No, that's no, 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 no. That's swole. That's not chonk. I don't know. There's a huge difference between like, swole and chonk. Strong fat, like you know, E Honda or me, in a way. Uh, I was like, no, Matt, you're tall. <laughs> <laughs> you're, just, you're, you're, you're just tall. <laughs> I tower over the Nobody little ones. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I got none on Dio. This is a speed square. You probably do this twice, and that's it. Yeah, for admittedly, it's something reasons. I'd like to see expanded upon in a remake. Oh yeah, but just making a full out fucking space shooter game, you know? I mean, it is already. Oh fuck! But I would have liked. I would have liked different courses. Yeah, there's only, only one thing. course. There's only know. one course here, and once you get the items you want, there's no reason to come back to it. So wait, what'd you just? Did you just squeeze the fat Chocobo's ass or something? No, no. I just wanted to hug. I just wanted to hug it. That's oh, Kate Sith. Just, just rub its ass. Catching for good luck. All the against me doesn't come true. Rub so, the fat uh, Chocobo ass for good so yeah, luck. If you're wondering why you're only allowed to bring one party member, it's because you got to recruit. You got to recruit Ketchy. I'm gonna call him Reeve. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're just spelling it as it's as it's said. As it's pronounced. It's pronounced Ketchy because Ketchy is Gaelic. I felt so betrayed. Fuck if I'm missing things, people. Anyone, laddie? I was so confused too because like. Uh, We've got a fucking was that, uh, No, no. It was Avent Children and Dirge of Cerberus that finally gave Ketchy a voice. And it's and Scottish. It was, it was Scottish. And, I was like, and a world with no That Scotland. was a really weird choice. Why did they do that? Oh, it's because Ketchy is Gaelic. Right. And uh, that's entirely the point. You know what? It makes sense. It, yeah. Now that you know the context of it, sure. Even though there's no Scotland. <sighs> So or like, Scotland equivalent. So, like, what exactly is Ketchy? It's a toy. It's a it's a fortune teller machine. Yeah, it's a fortune. Well, I mean, that's its job. It's occupation, anyway. Uh, but no, it's a it's a stuffed Moogle. It, it is a robot, basically. It is a remote controlled robot. So the cat's doing all the talking. The cat's doing all the talking. Ooh. The Moogle does all the moving. Well, the cat can move just fine too, but it rides the Moogle. So, okay, so the cat is its own person. The cat is the cat is part of the toy. 
Oh, yeah. okay. So where's the real person? Oh, well, we're not going to find out until later. <laughs> Fuck. So. Who said you can go with us? I'm going no matter what you say. Hey, no. No. Damn it! The cat walked in me. <laughs> Dude, how did two people go inside you at once? You're a freak. <laughs> Didn't know I could fit that big up cat in my ass. Now you just see Cloud wobbling. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they didn't want to talk to you. Leave him alone. Yeah, you got a fat ass in you, man. There's a fat ass in us all, Elliot. Anyway, welcome to the Wonder Square. This is where all the minigames are. Welcome this is also one of the only places you can actually spend gill to, like, earn GP. Welcome to Wonder Square. Oh, man, I'm up for some super dunk. <laughs> Shoot them hoops, Johnny. Shoot them hoops. I was always terrible at this game. There's a way to do it. I just never get over <laughs> it myself. There is. I don't know. You only get is. one shot? Yeah, you one shot. You get one shot, but then you get more if you make successive hoops. Yeah, this is actually your biggest GP maker. Like if you For me, get... it was the... Uh, for me, it was the... Um, Submarine game. The submarine game and the you guys this two and beyond. I don't remember what so, the payout for that one is. So, it, so so kind of like this. Ski ball is Uncle Super Dunk. Yeah, in a way, because he got that fucking fight stick. <laughs> he really does, like have a knack for ski ball. Three hole GP. Yeah. Here's also the only place in the game where you can that, get some rare material. That's literally gonna get you one tootsie roll. <laughs> yeah, because you can talk to the girl to exchange GP. Uh, they're in the question mark slots. One of them is uh, Gil Plus, the other's Experience Plus, and I think there's Luck Plus here. Uh, well, the other one's also a Carob Nut, which you don't want to use GP on, because uh, yeah. you can steal it easily. For Fortune Teller, you wish that you want to be big. No, I'm already big. <laughs> Those games will open up later. Except for this one here, G-Bike, which is the uh, motorcycle thing. It's just breathing under his lips. I want to be soldier first class. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, buddy. Why'd I say that? Anyway, so this is what I was talking about last time during the Midgar escape sequence. Oh, yeah. You can play, you can play the, the motorcycle game again uh, in the Gold Saucer. But now there's actual, there's a point to this now. You can actually win GP if you score high enough. I, I don't know what the score I has to be. I think it has to be 10,000. Uh, how much GP do you get for 10,000? But the problem is, is that uh, you lose points every time the truck gets hit. And the red bikers are notorious. Yeah, the red bikers are shit. assholes. You know, and you, what you don't want to happen is them to get in front of the truck because they're back. They will they slam will, the yeah, fuck out of it. Yeah, they'll slam the fuck out of it, and your score is draining, like, big time, like Elliot when he sees a fat chocobo. <laughs> I actually just really do like the touch of the, uh, the um... I like the, the touch of a big fat behind. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying, Elliot? The sparks of the tip of the buster sword on the, on the road. I just really like that detail. Like, oh, you mean like when the when the motorcycles are skidding on the road? Yeah. That's the other thing. Yeah. Like, like just just look at the look at the tip when it comes up. Yeah. Right now, it just looks like a giant. It it just looks it's like, like a, a, giant straight, a razor, razor blade. blade. Yeah, like a razor blade. <laughs> Those pesky hair follicles. <laughs> I will cut every single one. And why the hell does a hair follicle have a driver's license? <laughs> I find it a little weird that Tifa and Aerith are on or in the truck because they're part of the model, but Barrett and Red Thirteen are nowhere to be seen. It only seats two, after all, and it's like Barrett's still not feeling too well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what about Red what's Red Thirteen's excuse? He's a lion. <laughs> okay, whatever. Oh, right into it. Yeah, look at that. Well, actually, I, that was at like 9,400 points, and now it's, it was back to 88.50, and now it's 98.50. And, and then right to zero. Red motorcycle van, go away. <laughs> They actually made a mini game. They actually made a mobile game off this, I believe, for a while. Yeah, they did. Really? I remember the yeah. graphics looking just as ugly there as it is here. Uh, no, no, I actually think it actually wasn't a bad looking game, if I remember correctly. Is, this, is it still up? I doubt it. It was for. It was a pretty early mobile game, I want to say. I kind of wonder if you play Motorball around when you same, get enough age. I think it was, it was around the same time, like, that Kingdom Hearts V Cast thing was out. Yeah, I remember what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, what was it called? If you can remember? G Bike? G Bike. Let me see. Hmm. That's it. 10 oh. GP. No. F Mega. Okay. Okay. Charles Angel. I, okay, I was searching it. There's no G bike. I saw a Lime icon and I thought Lime Wire on mobile. Oh, wow. Holy fuck. Mm. Give me my phone aids now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have Android. You can certainly get them. Oh, boy. You want to talk about RNG the game? Holy shit. This one. Never won this. Never won this. Not even come close. I always lose to the wrestler. Ever loses to the wrestler? No, no. I beat the wrestler once, and he, then he fight Disco Stew. <laughs> <laughs> Disco Stew. I may have to see if I you. can show off Disco Stew when I visit this place again, because I will be visiting this. I will, I will be visiting the Wonder Square later down the road. 
to show off the snowboarding game and submarine game. Because those are the only two games you can't play right now. Oh, you won. Yeah. Won. I guess. I hit buttons. And oh, fuck. I hit buttons and shit happened. You know, but this is high, low, or mid. It's rock, paper, scissors. And that's pretty much it. Other things like low beats mid. Mid beats high, I think. And uh, high beats low. But it's like you press a button and you hope to God you... The, uh, the the opposition picks the one that's weak to what you threw. There's a pattern to which what they're hitting, but I don't know what it is. If there's a pattern, I don't know what it is because every single guy that I've said says, good luck. <laughs> I, heard one, I heard one of the last opponents is just straight up invisible. What does it say in the official Final Fantasy VII guide? Fuck the, you. The, what, the Prima Vesta one? Yeah. I don't know. I have to look at the Ultimania one, though, too. Is that a monster? Oh, the God, this oh, that, mini game. The is Moogle, this? Yeah, this is the Moogle mini game. So this is where we pay our subscriptions. This is pretty much where you're going to earn your, like, your first big sum of GP, because when you complete this game, the dude behind you who's watching you, likely backseat gaming, mm -hmm. is uh, he'll give you 30 GP for co successfully doing this. But it, it, this is a really... You also only do it once. Yeah, you also only do this once, exactly. It's, it's also a really nothing game. So basically, uh, the story is this Mog is looking to fuck... But no, actually, he, he, he he's, he's looking to fuck. He's looking to fuck. But first, he's got to get his flying like like skills oh, up to snuff. Got to start. Got to flex. Flex. Hey, on he's got to flex first. He's got to flex to get a mate so he can fuck. But uh, in order to fly, we need to feed him the exact amount of Koopo nuts. Now this. This is really easy. All you gotta do is give him Koopo nuts until he's not hungry anymore. And you know he's not hungry anymore when he gives you a little squeak. What is this? So Matt's giving me an image here. We can probably post this on the the, the video. So I think the hottest in Midgar is Director Scarlet and Arms Development. I wouldn't mind being stuffed on Butter High Heroes if you know what I mean. Oh, that's that's, that's a reference. That's from Crisis Core. Yeah. So okay. now that's a reference. Well, okay, that's uh that's not accurate though. He's just not being stepped on. He's being laid on. Close it's enough like, to as far enough. as he yeah, cares. Close, close, yeah. Don't put the boot up my ass. Now the thing is, is do you, do you want to actually send it? <laughs> yeah, send it to Ally so that I can get it to. We can put down the screen so that we're not confusing the audience. Yes, yeah, so every time you give uh, Mount Koopa Nut his stomach will growl. When you feed him enough times, though, he'll jump up and squeak. That means stop. Don't give him any more Koopa Nuts. Yeah, uh, I like to overfeed I him and then watch him. Fight. I want you fat. Yeah, I want you fatter. <laughs> if you don't feed him enough, he can't fly. If you feed him too much, he can't fly because he's fat. It's also one of the only times in the game besides the Choco Summon that we see, like, the Moogle. A uh, Moogle, yeah. Yeah. That is wild that they don't have any of those in this game, I realize. No. But, I mean, besides the Choco Mog. Could it be that D4 summon. Station had a reason to take, to take away their force? <laughs> Damn you, Shinra. <laughs> <laughs> now he's a full-on Mog. That's some big old Moog. Mm. There's a lot of chunky things in the Gold Saucer, I realized. Maybe Dio has a thing for fat chunky. Dio is chunky. Maybe Dio's a thing for is chunky. That that's full chunk. Thank God again. Thank God. There are people before us named dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not a fan of the chunkosaurus. Wait, no. Who, who's this? Oh, that's a female mug. Which again, something we don't really see too many of in the uh, universe of Final Fantasy. Yeah, well, it's like what the? I don't think we've ever seen a pink Moogle. We've seen the we've seen black and gray from Artemisian. Bruh, I heard you fly now. <laughs> well, it's time to flex, and then we'll fuck, flex and fuck. I honestly, when I was younger and feeling particularly mean spirited, I overfed Mog and watched him struck out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get the pussy. Why should he <laughs> eat the nut? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if, I wonder how female Mog is looking at this, going, "Where are you getting the free food, asshole?" Yeah, it's like, wait, where's my nut? <laughs> no, she's just trying to figure out where's the nut coming from. <laughs> That's what we were talking about then. Yeah. <laughs> using oh, the, he's ready. Using that patent pennant nut launcher. Yeah, once he squeaks, just stop hitting X. Just give it some time. It'll automatically proceed. Let me eat that nut, Koopo. <laughs> Big nut. Nut. Mm. Dos oh, nuts. I don't have my nut button. I'll stand by. <laughs> Damn. Sorry. Can he fly in a press the missus? Imagine how, st how, low, how low she ha her standards have to be for a Moogle, considering that, holy shit, you fly. I can do that, too. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, you talk. That's hot. That would be unique for a Mog, other than Koopa. <laughs> Damn, you're a Moogle? 
Mm. That would be some shit to see revived in this. Mock from 6 comes back and he got to teach him the dances to get to win his woman over. I would love that, though. Seriously. Again, yeah. I, and then know, at the well, end, she's it's pounding on the screen. Get me out of here! I'm Let me find they, Daryl! I'm hoping they go nuts with the minigames or Gold Tosser in, huh. in remake. You, you mean Koopo nuts? No, no. I, I would love to see... I, was a pun. I would love to see a disco variation from the Yakuza games in it. Uh, like like dancing? Yeah, straight out. You do straight out disco dancing in Yakuza. It's fucking incredible. Yeah, you get people in like uh, Moogle mascots, uh, outfits, and chocobos. And Yuna's, and, a and Yuna's ashamed again. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Mog and Meg. And there's Meg, Mig, Mug. Now came the honeymoon. And we're all out of owls, so I can't use anything else for that. God damn, these are like fucking rabbits. F feed them or not, Johnny. Come on, stupid. Do you think Mog's inbreed? <laughs> <laughs> Fades the <to> black. <laughs> wow. That's the last text box that shows up. <laughs> Do you think they inbreed? <laughs> Damn it, Hojo. <laughs> <laughs> Just the game turns off. You turn No, you, the game turns off. And, and class got a thousand eyes can, there. No, you, the game turns off and the screen's black, but just faintly you can see Hojo's reflection <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. oh, Jesus oh, Christ. I'm going to put this basketball game again. Come on, damn it. <laughs> Take my mind off from I'm number, I'm number one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you made it. There we go. That's it. <laughs> Once you I'm get a, into a rhythm, it's all a matter of how, much, of, how long a, your attention can I'm stand. I'm a Hall of Favor now. A Hall of Favor. Yep. One okay. whole <laughs> GP. One whole. Where you go, potty skipping? Hey, man, that's one GP I didn't have before. Now you're up to Who's four. the midget? Let's go to Event Square. Who's well, next time for Final Who's, who's the midget chocobo? Uh, Mog. Okay. <laughs> 